So uh, first off, congratulations on your new film and uh, thank you for taking a little bit of your time to talk to me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks for talking to me. So Mr. Campos, we all know that uh, book to film adaptations can be uh, sometimes tough and a bit tricky. So I wanted to ask you, what was the most challenging aspect of doing that adaptation from book to film uh, with this material, material which uh, it's, it's pretty dark? Um, you know, there were a couple of things. One, I would say is making sure that we captured the spirit of the book, um, which requ required a bit of an unconventional uh, structure. Uh, so making sure that we could uh, tell all these different stories, but connect it through one of the st stories, which is the story of Willard and Arvin, the father and son. Um, and the other thing is that the book, because books are, are able to go and be more explicit and more graphic, the book goes even further into sort of darkness and, and, um, and, and, and very savage imagery at times. And so we had to figure out how to push it as far as we could push it on screen and never do it to the point where it would be um, completely, um, you know, off-putting. So, you know, the movie pushes boundaries and, and really takes you to places uh, in terms of, you know, in terms of the violence and kind of how crazy the story gets. But, you know, I can say that the book, it was probably even crazier. I bet. Uh, one of the things I really enjoyed about your, your adaptation is uh, was having a narrator. And even so, one, let's say, that's not even involved or it's a character of the, of the story. Yeah. So when did you decide on having a narrator? And, and even so, having the original author of the book, uh, Mr. Pollack, be the narrator? Because I thought it was brilliant and effective. Thanks. Uh, we, we, we knew pretty early on that we wanted to try a narrator into the story. And we, um, we wrote the first couple drafts without it. And then we started to incorporate him into the, 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 the piece. And just where we felt like we, we needed him or we wanted him. Or, and we wanted him to be a character. We didn't want him to just be like a voice telling you information. We wanted him to have his own personality. And so, you know, so much of the, the, the narration was driven by Don's writing um, and the way he writes things in the book. So it was about figuring out like, you know, how to also give Don's, the author, a, a bit of personality. And that came partially from knowing Don. And um, how we ended up with him as the narrator was for me, there was nobody else. Like I had to be Don Ray Pollock. Like I had to be the guy that created this world. He was the creator, you know, he is the voice that can speak to every, every character, every storyline, everyone's past, their future, like he knows it all. And he is from Knockham Stiff, Ohio. Like he knows this real place. So there was no one else that could replicate that. No actor that could make that up. So it was always Don. Thank God Don said yes. <laughs> I thought it was, it, it was really effective. So again, uh, thank you for your time and congratulations on your new film and uh, stay safe. Yeah, you too. Take care.